Hey no family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you are doing well. Your girl's back with another video. I'm a little bit late with this one, but better late than never. I've been gone for a little bit over a week and I'm sorry about that, but your girl's back now and I'm super excited. In today's look, I'm gonna be doing a Valentine's set. It's gonna be actually, I was thinking I really wanted to recreate this jean look I did last year that was inspired by Stiletto with a Coffin, but a jean look but make it valentine so for this look i'm going to be using a bunch of gels those are going to be including madame glam's perfect blue nail houses red bottom blanco blackout arctic chill winter fresh did i say pink panther um and fun girl and i'm going to be adding a gel or two along the way you are going to see that i'm going to be using me secrets cover pink acrylic for pretty much the entire base of this set here I have some little jean shreds or whatever you want to call it that I actually cut up from my jeans. Some from the look I did last year and then some um, I kind of inserted a clip on the screen of how I just took my jeans and cut some of the little shreds off. I'm also going to be using Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush as always and I'm going to be using their Pro Monomer. Um, anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below. Use my code Porsche for savings. I'm also going to be using, of course, their liner brushes. Y'all, this longer one always get caught in the cap and it always look so wonky when I pull it off. And the way to fix that, like a wonky hair brush, is pretty much to warm up some water in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute, dip it in there, and it's good as new. I also currently have on Nail House's size 3XL taper square tips. However, I did cut them down just a bit. I wanted to go for an extra long, like, duck nail look. Now, I know I've said in the past, I believe Aaliyah asked me before. I'm almost sure. She was the one who asked me to do a duck nail set, a long duck nail set in the past. And I wasn't too fond of them, but I'm like, hey, I actually wanted to try it. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, I, so I did cut those nail, t nail house tips down and I added like some duck tips to the bottom of them. Very, very short. Um, as you all can see. Currently, it does look a little bit crazy because I had to like file the tips and, and things and I didn't totally blend them all the way and everything, but everything's going to be fine once we apply the acrylic. I really, really, really wanted a, um, peekaboo peekaboo look i've never tried a peekaboo look before and i wanted to do some lips so you're going to see that process here i'm just using new houses red bottom gel to go ahead and draw some lips and then i'm going to go ahead with some pink gel over top to create our peekaboo look if you've never heard of peekaboo nails pretty much it's like when there's a design like when you flip your nails over and there's a design underneath i think that's pretty cool and we're gonna have like pink bottoms uh for this set with like red little lips i think it's gonna be the cutest thing so that's what i'm currently doing and yeah i did have a slight issue with the red gel kind of spreading a little bit and like you know bleeding into each other a little bit before i cured them only because it's a smooth surface and they were kind of like spreading a little bit but it's okay they don't have to be absolutely perfect because it's going to be the design underneath the nail and you're not really gonna like it came out cute either way um so yeah this is how we are looking and like i said i'm gonna go ahead and put the pink gel over top it and it's gonna look absolutely crazy y'all like I'm, not, I'm gonna lie i kind of like went ahead and hurry up and slather the pink gel on so that we can get into the application and it does not matter anyway it doesn't have to be perfect because it's still gonna come out right if that makes a little sense hopefully so um anyway i wanted to again shout out like i did in the beginning stiletto in a coffin she's a nail artist that got the jean nail circulating again last year um i really like to give you know nail artists credit nail artists credit where it's due um it's so many and i can talk about that topic all day long you all have heard me talk about it at least five times or so how like i don't know why people are so they feel like they can't give people credit like when they're inspired that's kind of that's not kind of it's very weird to me and i know like i know Slittle in the coffin didn't create the jean look but but she like kind of brought it back and no one was doing it until i saw her doing it last year like a lot of people were and don't get me wrong a lot of people were like recreating and tagging her but um and like i said it's kind of tricky that's a tricky subject as well because like i said before plenty of times before um 
you know, a lot of these new, um, these arts, you know, like these designs, we don't like totally come up with. Like not, not all of them. Um, they're kind of like recycled, if that makes sense, from the past. But yeah, I just like to give credit where to do whoever I'm inspired by. And that's just on period. So like I said, the jean look that I did last year was totally inspired by Stiletto in a Coffin. And I decided I wanted to recreate it this year and do another dream look but make it valentine so um yeah we're gonna go ahead with the application now and again i'm using mia secrets cover pink acrylic um i'm gonna be using that for the base of all of these nails and i'm gonna let y'all pretty much go ahead and enjoy the application for now also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below um how you all feel about that too like do you all think it's a big deal like i never um like when people recreate my sets as a beginner like i mean literally as a super beginner like at least like over four years or go not over four years but like maybe three or four years ago um like if i saw people recreate my sets and you know when people like literally recreate your sets to a t and they literally got the answer from you or if it's like because some of these designs wouldn't just like literally create but y'all know what i'm trying to say like what are your thoughts on people not tagging or like you know saying where people got where you got the inspo from or do you think it's like not a big deal let me know you all thoughts about that in the comment section below and i want to go back to say that when i say you know none of us came up with these designs i mean as far as like you know um i know like i was saying it's little in a coffin it's probably not the first one to ever do a jean look i know that for sure like the jean look didn't just come or jean no look didn't, didn't just come about last year um but like i said she was the first person to like bring it back and then everyone started doing jean nails and i mean like nobody's gonna be like well you did an ombre you're copying me you did zebra print you're copying me you did flower nails you're copying me like i mean as far as like doing doing a set nail for nail like exactly or like you know similar or really exactly like that's inspo to me what do you all think comment in the comment section below like do you think people should tag when they get inspo or do you don't think it's a big deal anyway i'm gonna go ahead and you know finish up this application and i'll let you all go ahead and enjoy watching that like i said y'all i'm sorry i know like these nails look a little crazy right now because they're not completely you know filed the way i want them to blend it all the way and that pink gel was kind of i just kind of slapped it on there because i know we're going to be putting the acrylic on top so that's that. We're going to go ahead and shape these bad boys up nicely after we're done here with the application. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy watching.
Okay guys, so here's how we're looking with the application all the way complete. Loving it so far, loving those pink bottoms with this nude here already. Um, as you all can see, I didn't really focus too much on covering that pink acrylic at the tips, not pink acrylic, pink gel at the tips so much. Like that wasn't my focus because I knew that I would be covering up all of these nails with gel. Like I would be doing pretty much a fringe or some type of gel over it. So that wouldn't show anyway. So next we're gonna move into shaping and filing the nails. For those of you who are new, I do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel. If you all want to check it out, it is linked in the description below, as well as some other videos down there as well, like application, um, prep, and some other videos. But for now, we're going to go ahead and move through this so that we can get into all of this nail art. This video is pretty, pretty long today. It's a little longer than my usual videos and i hope you all are enjoying that too because i've been gone for like a little bit over a week and these nails also were kind of like very detailed as far as all the nail art so i hope you all enjoy every bit of it and yeah i'm using my 80 80 bit file now with duck nails i have told you all before i do need to make a new shaping video so that i can include duck nails very in detail um in that video however with the duck nails for these especially well just duck nails in general i don't focus my file on the sides of the nails like i would if i were doing like say a tapered square or square nails um because you don't want to lose that flare at the tip so you are going to pretty much see me focus like i'm going to file kind of like parallel to the nail but not focus on that tip area like the free edge area where that flare is because we don't want to take away from that um and also i'm going to pretty much go in with my file my e-file to kind of like get the like you know finish up crisp in the shape how i want it to go pretty much like at the um free edge part the free edge part as well as like the edge of the nails on the sides so that I don't have to do that with my file and lose a flare so yeah some of you may wonder like what that is on my dust collector that I just laid down and it's pretty much just a dryer sheet I have to shout out again Jeannie the nail Jeannie SC for that little hack there um basically you just will lay a dryer sheet down to preserve your filter a little bit more you know so that all the dust don't just go in there you have to keep changing it out like frequently it wouldn't be frequently anyway but it just preserves the longevity you know it just kind of preserves the filter pretty much because after you're done with all the dust it just collects on top of the dryer sheet and you just pick up the dryer sheet and toss it now again shout out to Jeannie, but i now have to shout out tori as well um she inboxed me on instagram a few days ago maybe sometime last week or something like that because um she know that i had just started this new little hack with the dryer sheet and she found these like um these little disposable sheets that come in like a hundred pack something like that that was really really convenient um that are made to go on top of the dust collectors too and that's like it will be cheaper than the dryer sheets if that makes sense um i have yet to try them but I do have it in my Shein cart. The ones that she sent me were on Timu, the um, photo, but then I found them on Shein. So I can leave them linked both. I can leave both of them linked for you all in the description below. Shout out to both those ladies for looking out. Jeannie and Tori, thanks a ton, y'all. So right now I'm just taking my e-file to the free edge of these nails and going in and reiterating that like moon shape um, at the free edge that I like to do. And yeah, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and buff up the nails, clean them. And we're gonna move into all of this nail art, okay, y'all? Cause that's the majority of the set, like all of the nail art <laughs> on top.
Alrighty, so this is how we're looking with the nails complete with the shaping and filing. Loving the shape. I actually did love the way the shape turned out. Like, I was kind of iffy about the extra long duck nails. Don't know how much I was liking them in the beginning, but you know what? I initially never even liked duck nails, period. Like, I just I just think it's, you know, fascinating how things can grow in you. But I'm gonna go ahead and buff the nails now and clean them and all that good stuff. For those of y'all who don't know, what I spray on the nails is just alcohol. I just spray on the nails alcohol and, and like brush them with my brush. And then I go in with more alcohol and wipe them with my um, lint-free wipe just to ensure that there's no, absolutely no dust or any debris behind. Because we don't want to mess up any of the gel that we're going to be putting on top, we're going to go in with all of our hand-painted art in just a few. Alrighty y'all, it's nail art time. So I'm gonna go in with all of my gels I'm gonna be using and put them on this palette here pretty much. And I'm gonna be going in, oh, I did go ahead and switch out Nail House's Winter Fresh, I believe it was. No, it was the Arctic Chill. I switched out Arctic Chill for Baby Blue. Um, but yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? We're gonna begin our nail art now. And pretty much I'm going to be beginning with the base of all of like, the designs first i always like to do that first and go from there like with the fringes and all of that on every nail and then go from there i did go ahead and mix Ma um yes madam glam's perfect blue and nail houses black out together to get a darker like denim blue i'm trying to go for um and yeah i'm pretty much gonna walk you all through my process now this is where I messed up and then I noticed after the fact that I messed up now usually because we're doing a jean look and I want to do like holes like holes h-o-l-e-s holes um <laughs> into the nails I literally forgot it's been a, it's been a long time like at least a year since I've done this set I've only done it one other time but I it totally uh skipped my mind or slipped my mind um to leave a space for like the hole like um so normally you are gonna see me do it pretty much on the thumbnail normally i would just like take my liner brush draw a little not so perfect type of looking hole and then go around the hole with all of the rest of the gel but i totally forgot here and i had to um end up mixing like trying to get the color of the nude to go ahead and draw that on top without having to remove all of the gel all of the gel and um y'all forgive me i'm a little tired too so my words may be a little twisted but no um i have to go on top to create that holy look if that makes sense um i had to mix a gel for that without having to remove a gel if that makes sense so yeah um again i am going to be using my nail house liner brushes size 25 millimeter and the 12 millimeter the 25 millimeter is the one that i'm going to be using um for like creating the french line i always recommend to my beginners or people who just you know maybe not know or just you know need a little bit of of a tip or tips that i find that longer haired brushes like the longest haired brushes um really help with getting my like french lines or just even if you're doing like just like lying long line work like it really helps with my fringes like i don't find a shorter hair brush work for my fringes french is that well i feel like it's because with the longer hair brush you have a little bit more of a stability without having to do too much if that is making sense to you all at all um because it's not a shorter hair brush where you have to try to hold steady the whole time that it goes with the longer hair brush is just quicker if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna start with my fringes and everything as the base we're gonna be going in and doing some airbrushing to get the jean effect that's the way i did it um people 
people as well as, well, I don't know about people, but when I watched the person that I got the inspo from last year's um, Jean look, um, so they in a coffin, she pretty much just used a like little sponge to dab on and create that like jean effect. You can do that as well because I do that, but as well as I incorporate airbrushes. It's something I do. I like to do that and it works for me. So you all are going to see me do that, but I'm not going to chitter chatter too much throughout this process. I'll be popping back in, you know, like here and there. So on the thumbnail there is what I pretty much meant when I said usually I would leave like a space on the nail for like um, the part where it would be like the holes and I just totally forgot on the middle fingernail and the pinky nail. So what I ended up doing was creating a little gel mix that matched, you know, the nude a little bit. Um, I should have kept the first like the, the mix before the last the way it was because I um, it was like the perfect shade but then i ended up adding a little bit too much of more white gel and it got a little bit lighter than i would have wished it was okay before i top coated like matte top coated and everything i feel like it just got lighter and lighter as the process went along so it didn't match the nude part of the nail completely like the french part or like just you know the acrylic that i used for the set and didn't match identically but it's fine you still get it and i just won't make that mistake next time but yeah and by the way, the gels that I used to create that mix for that was Nail House's Brown Sugar, Madame Glam's OMG Pink, and then Nail House's Blanco Gel, the white one. And I just so should have left it at the point where it was like the perfect color. I don't know why I thought it should have been lighter. But sometimes my eyes play tricks on me. So don't worry about that. It's okay. I won't make the mistake next time. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to continue with you know the fringes and everything and as you all can see on the middle finger nail i really wanted to do a heart look for the whole part of the nail like the ribs part the ribs part that makes sense of the nail so i created a little heart and someone commented i forget who it was but um when you all asked when whoever that person was asking at that moment like someone was saying something like isn't it hard or something like isn't it hard to get like hearts identical like each half and I completely get you and I was telling you that what works for me is that 
you know, as y'all can see here, I just pretty much use a dotting tool to help me guide and draw the, or draw the, come on, Portia, do we know English? Drew the lines from there and created the heart. I feel like that just helps me a ton better, like a lot better with drawing hearts. Cause yeah, like I'm fine with drawing them on papers, but sometimes when it comes to nail, it's like, it comes to the nail, it's like difficult to draw hearts. So that's what helped me. Use a dotting tool, draw two little dots, connect the lines, fill it in, and you have your heart from there pretty much. So as you all can see for the ripped jean part, like where those white little fabrics are, and pretty much to get that look, I just take a, you know, my liner brush with some white gel and pretty much very like aimlessly go back and forth, you know, kind of messy to get that look as well. Cause it's not, ripped jeans are not perfect. Y'all know how they look in the center um, with the holes, but yeah, just go back and forth and then I clean up around the edges and that's pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna be moving into airbrushing and um, I'm gonna start with airbrushing some light blue, which will be Nail House's Baby Blue, over top the, the um, Royal Blue denim type of color. And I totally ran out of acetone, and I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I definitely had to take a um, trip to the store. Thank God, like literally y'all, I had to rush there. It closed in like 10 minutes and I hate to be that person so bad. Like I was I was in there 10 minutes before it closed, but I literally walked in and walked right back out because I knew exactly where um, it was and what I was getting. So hopefully they wasn't too like mad. They weren't really even mad, but I hate to be that person. But yeah, anyway, Drug Mart saved the day. I went ahead and grabbed the acetone and I'm gonna go ahead and just put the gel and the acetone into the little mixer part of the airbrush machine and mix it up and we're gonna begin airbrushing this airbrush here is from aliexpress it was like 18 bucks or so i like it i've had it a while it's cool like it's decent um and yeah i mentioned to you all before that I don't totally recommend like using apparently like mixing gel and acetone of course you know it's kind of like a no-brainer too but i didn't i guess really think about it how like dangerous it is mixing those two chemicals and like spraying it. I always have a mask on while I'm doing nails y'all, like for the monomer, but, and also especially for the dust. So I do have a mask on here, but and just be aware and be careful of using those two chemicals to mix in. Do your airbrushing. Y'all, I brought two airbrushing nail polish, like kits that are actually used for airbrushing without mixing chemicals like months and months ago that I still have not even made a video and on like I told you all I was and try them out like I don't do airbrushing often too which is why I kind of forgot and kind of like just basically forgot and I haven't done it um because I don't do airbrushing nails or airbrush nails a lot but I am going to try it someday for you all I just will be kind of tricky when I am using different gels and I want to get that particular color so I don't know I did buy two kits on Amazon I will like make a video and review them sometime here y'all bear with me but like i said just go ahead and airbrushing that light blue on now for just that initial like effect that i'm kind of looking for and then i'm going to take that darker blue like denim type of color that i mixed with madame glam's perfect blue and nail houses blanco to get this like super dark denim blue color pat it on the nails with my i use actually a um or an eyeshadow little brush thingy basically like a little you know what i mean like a little eyeshadow brush thing or sponge thing and i kind of patted that as well as the white on the nail wherever i feel like it, i wanted it to go to get my little jean effect but yeah i'll let y'all watch that process
So for this index fingernail, I really wanted to do like a pink airbrush type of look on here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna be incorporating that same pink into the set as well, like in other nails, but I thought that would be really cute. Um, also, as you all can see, I really, 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 or not as you all can see, but so far the jean look like that blue airbrushing on top of that royal blue color i really really like that look i hesitated on leaving them exactly like that or like doing what i usually do which is pat on some new colors and like some darker blues and things like that and white whatever i like i wanted to go and kind of like spruce it up a little bit um to make it have a little bit more dimension and look a little bit more like jean nails you know this is too like clean of a look but i absolutely loved it and i did want to keep it that way but i'm like let me go ahead and do what i normally like what i did last time so that is what i'm doing and yeah um also i do want to mention that when you are airbrushing um, you do want to hold the airbrush at a distance from the nail. You don't want to be close up on the nail because if you're close up on the nail, then you'll get like pulling, like it will literally create like a circular type of pool and it won't look as, um, it won't, it won't look good. And just, yeah. So you want to go, um, a little bit, a distance from the nail as well as in like kind of circular motions and then test out your like color on, you know, like, so that. The color you're spraying out isn't the same or mixed with the color that you had in the airbrush previously pretty much the way that i do um to clean out the uh, previous color is i just kind of pour it out then i pour a little bit of acetone just like plain acetone into the little um mixing cup and then i spray it until i see no more color and then i add in the next color but yeah so you want to stay a distance from the nail as well as go in circular motions to get your airbrush effect and then also because the gel is diluted with acetone, you don't need to cure for like your typical 60 seconds like you would a regular like, you know, gel nail. Um, you wanna just cure, I do anywhere between like 10 to 20 seconds, something like that. Um, I have experience when like trying to cure it longer than that. It's just looking like coming out wrinkly or just weird and wonky because it's not full gel. You just don't wanna cure it for so long, if that makes sense. All right, y'all, so this is how we're looking so far with just, you know, the base of our jean nails complete. Um, I am loving the way it's looking so far. I actually really like the way jean or like this stage look without even the fabric. I debated on that too, if I wanted to add it or not, but like with jean nails without fabric and I already pulled it out. So I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But as of right now, I'm just pretty much, like I said, I wanted to do recreate that jean look from last year, but make it valentine -y. So I'm just gonna go in and do like some little valentine art um here and there and then after that you all are going to get to see how i apply the jean fabric and all of the finishing touches
Okay, so for this one now, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a notebook, um, like Valentine nail look. And I don't know at all who came up with that, but it's definitely genius. Like I've seen these notebook Valentine nails going around the whole internet recently. So I don't even know who to credit for that. Um, but whoever did, you did your thing with that. I think it's totally like, it's just so cute. But I'm gonna be doing that on the ring fingernail now. And um, I think, okay, so then after that, I'm gonna go in with like this little crisscross look on the pinky nail. A little XOXO and a little kissy like lips on the thumbnail and then we're gonna begin applying our fabric but I'll let y'all go ahead and watch that part and pop back in later by the way i do hope y'all are enjoying this tutorial so far if you are go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you have yet to subscribe or you think you're subscribed and you may not be sure go ahead and check to see that you have that subscribe button hit and your bell notification set to all so that you're notified every single time that i post and thank you all so much for joining i'll be back in a bit to explain the finishing touches
All right, so we're now moving on to applying the fabrics, the nails around the, you know, the holes area um, for that jean look. And I do want to point out that for that ring fingernail, I did go ahead and use like this nail art pen that I got on Amazon in a pack of different colors. It's pretty cool. Like it worked for this here. I don't use them too often, um, but it did work for this here where I was able to do it way faster and like it came out looking better than me having to go in with a liner brush and black gel with those words. So I just went ahead and um, used that. And then of course you don't cure it or anything. You have to wait for it to dry on its own and then you can top coat it and all that good stuff. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with um, Zule's Bling Adhesive to apply all of this little fabric to the nails to, you know, complete our jean look. And at first, like just applying the the adhesive and putting it on the nail, it wasn't sticking too well. So pretty much what I did was, when I put a little bit of her adhesive on the nail, I went ahead and took her activator spray and kind of like sprayed it quickly, like real quick. Cause if you all don't know what activator spray is when you're using like uh, an adhesive like that one there, it's pretty much it um, dries it really quickly, like almost instantly. But I kind of just sprayed like the slightest dash and I went in quickly with um, applying the um, fabric cause it makes it stick better since it's already drying, if that makes sense. It wasn't totally sticking so good before um, doing that with just putting it on the nail. But I'm gonna just be doing that, placing them randomly, um, kind of like spreading them out with a little tweezers and then you're gonna see that I cut them so that, especially the pinky one, so that the little fabric doesn't overextend on the nail or you can't see the shape of the nail. Took my scissors, cut it a little bit, as well as at the same time cutting it, just pretty much um, fluffing it out to make it look, you know, a little better. And that's pretty much it, you all. I'm gonna try to finish watching that process. I did that on the, the pinky nail and the thumb. Um, I was gonna do it for the heart on the middle fingernail, but then I didn't wanna like take away from the heart either and cover up the rest of the art. So what I ended up doing was adding a chain to the nail. I thought that was really cute. Um, when I added the chain, I went ahead and used the um, McCart rhinestone glue just so I can see how it looked before um, setting it in stone with the Zule Bling adhesive. And yeah, y'all, I'm gonna try to watch that and I'll pop back in with our final results.
Okay, so as you all can see, I went back and forth quite a few times on what charms I was going to use, especially for that pinky nail. I wasn't sure what I was going to use. That bowl, I thought would have looked really cute, but then again, I didn't want to take away from the design and the whole crisscross look. So I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I kind of kept it there just in case I changed my mind. Um, but this is pretty much the look I ended up going with. Um, and then that heart too on the index finger nail. And then also, I did want to do like a little like a drop type of raindrop look on the index finger nail, but I didn't really like the way it looked so much. Like I didn't want to do too much of this set at all. So it's really cute, don't get me wrong, but not for this set. So, um, or I didn't want to for this set. So yeah, let me know what, what kind of look you all would have chose. Would you have kept the drip drops? Would you have put the bow on the pinky nail? Like what have you, what would you all would have chosen? Um, or did I end up doing the right thing? Alrighty, y'all. So this is how they came out, y'all. I think they came out so stinking cute. Like, I love these so much. Like, I think I really executed the idea I had in my mind. Like, recreate that jean look and make it on time. Like, that is so freaking cute. And don't forget the pink bottoms, y'all. They're so cute with the little lips and everything. I love these, y'all. And um, I definitely should have tried, like, long duck nails, like, longer. Like, these are what I consider, like, extra long. Uh, I've done like medium long long duck tip or duck nails before but these are just really really cute love 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 them and I love the shape of the pinky the most because it's like kind of slim and then it like flares out and then the ring fingernail like I just they're all just really really cute y'all these nails took me forever in a day they took me like six or so hours I was like lord but they were so worth it it was just the jean part like the details on the jean part and kind of like just everything like in a whole that kind of took a while like even the pink bottoms underneath and just everything like together it took uh, quite a bit of time but they were so worth it y'all um if y'all enjoyed this video and love these valentine nails as much as i do again i know i'm late posting them i do have like one or two more valentine sets that i'm late posting but better late than never but if y'all enjoyed this look and this video be sure to give the girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below Comment your favorite nail, maybe something like that, like what your favorite nail is, or um, if like you're gonna recreate this look. Somebody on Instagram 
said that we're gonna recreate it and yeah i can't wait to see your all's recreations like i think it's gonna be so cute um but to shout out again to Saletta on a Coffin for the jean look and spell. And I just put my own twist on it by making it Valentine's. And underneath the nails are so cute. So y'all, I love that so, so much. That was a great little touch. But but anyway, subscribe to my channel as well if you have not already and you love the set. You love the vibes. You have seen maybe a couple of my other videos before and it's debating whether you should subscribe or not. I think you should. I would say so. Um, I think you love it here. Also, make sure that your bell notifications are on and set to all so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video and you don't miss them. Also, comment maybe like some kiss emojis, heart emojis in the description, not in the description, the comment section below. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye for now.